Hi everybody, it's been a long time since I've uploaded a PowerPoint video to my playlist on this channel. So I want to show you a really interesting interaction that you can do. It really doesn't take all that much time or effort, but the impact I think is phenomenal. And so I have this slide here. Let's go ahead and put this into preview mode. And the effect that we have is that the animation appears on screen. It kind of floats in. But you can see that the person, she's waving her arms and she has um, curves of the body. And so the um, animation effect is that it appears, it looks like it appears from her body, including all of those curves. Looking at it one more time, you can see that those contours define the entrance points for this interaction. So let's look at how did I do that? You know, it's a little bit creative, but it's not that hard to do. So first thing I'm going to do, I have this empty slide and I'm going to copy the picture for, first and foremost. And so here's the picture. And you can go on to the stock photography and really you can just search for any image. I could search for if you wanted person or if you wanted something, I could grab any one of these. In fact, that yoga person, that would be really fun to have something protrude from the contours of this person. But just grab somebody that you think would be interesting. And so in this case, I have this person because there's some definite contours and I thought that would be interesting. And so the other thing I have here is this text box. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And now we just need that, that to animate on the screen. And I don't know if this is true. Six million people visit the Grand Canyon. I don't know. I just kind of made that up. I figured probably a lot of people. Let's take a look at this first slide at the entrance effect that we use. This is an animation and I have multiple animations. So I'll hop to the, the pane here. And for one, I have the animation effect appearing. So it disappears by default and then it has to appear on the screen. And then the other one is that it moves. And let me zoom out here. It moves from this location to that location. But if it's over here at the beginning and then it appears, how come we don't see it until it's peeking out from the contours of the person? And that's where we have something sophisticated, which we have another image on top of this image. And that image looks like this. And so it looks, and so I just cropped it out and then I cut away the contours of the person and then put it right there. And so it actually appears from underneath, like on top of the background image, but underneath this other image. And so to do that, let's go ahead and I'm going to, let's just duplicate since I have the animations already, I'm going to go to the animation painter right here and we're going to paint this animation. All right. So now it's going to appear. I can see that it starts over off the side of the screen and then it fades in and it moves to over here. So now we just have to put that overlay image on top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. So let's copy and we're going to paste it and we're going to put it right on top of everything. Now with this selected, I'm going to go to the format um, picture format and we're going to crop this down. So it already is cropped a little bit but I'm going to crop it to right about here. And this part doesn't really matter. You know, it's just as long as it's above the text box there and below the text box on this side. Okay. So now I have that and that's on top of everything. So if I go to the selection pane, I can see I have the background image. I have the text box and then I have the, let's put this as the foreground. So let's go ahead and preview this slide. I'm going to hit shift F5. All right, so now I have the effect. I have the, the box it appears, but you can see this clear line right there, and that's the edge of the picture. So now all we have to do is clean up that line. And to do that, I'm going to zoom in quite a bit and so that we can really get to where the contours are. You can see right now, in fact, let's hide the background image so we can really focus on this. This is the solid line, the, the clear line where the image is coming from. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit and what we're going to do is grab a rectangle. So I'll go to insert and I'll just grab the rectangle shape and I'm going to make a rectangle that covers the entire thing. And I don't want an outline, so I'm just, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to take that outline out and then go to format shape. And we're going to bump up the transparency a bit because I want to be able to see underneath. The shape doesn't really matter, but I'm going to be modifying this shape so that it fits those contours. And to do that with this selected, I'm going to go to shape format. I'm going to go to edit shape and I'm going to edit the points. So I think that what I will do is I'm actually going to, I should have made this shape a little bit less than the side. 
and then I'm going to grab these points. So with the edit points, I'm going to start up here in the top and then I'm going to create another point up here and I'm going to start following the contours of this person. And so it's a pretty straight line right here and then it gets a little bit more, uh, it's just some contours. And so I can take these points and here's where with this contour, I can really start using these handles and create those curves that I want. And so here's another one. I'm going to take this handle and maybe it would help if I zoom in. Let's zoom in a bit so that we can really start looking at this detail. So maybe this one's a little bit out um, and then I want to change the handles right here, the curves, and then I'll grab another one right here. And this curve is a little bit different. And so I'm just trying to make the line fit the person. And then I think I can just wrap it, wrap up with this last point right there. And that's roughly, you know, that seems pretty accurate. Maybe I could take this one curve. It's not a perfectly straight line. It's got a little bit of curve to it. We can zoom out and I think we're pretty good. Now let's see where we're at. I'm going to bump this transparency down again. And yep, you can see that you have the contours that we're wanting with the shape. So now that we have that, I'm going to click the background image and hold shift, click the shape. So I have both of those selected. We're going to go to shape format and we're going to merge the shapes and we're going to keep the intersect. So where the two shapes combine, that's what we're going to keep. So now if I hop back over to the selection pane and show the background image, you're not going to be able to see this because it's the same thing, you know, essentially. But if I move this around behind it, then you can see it just kind of disappears. And I can see it to the left peeking out the side of there. And maybe if I go up and down, then I can see that unique shape, but the audience isn't going to be able to know. And so now let's preview this screen and it should be the exact same iteration that we saw before. So again, I just grabbed the background image and I cropped it so that part of the image was a different layer. And then I took a shape and made the contours for that shape and kept the intersect. And then this piece is floating in between the background image and the foreground image that's cropped out with the contours. And it makes a super interesting effect. With a little bit of practice, it's just going to take you a minute to create this interaction, but it's going to leave a lasting effect on your audience. I've used this effect in other examples as well. Here's the one with boilerplate where the text box comes out from behind this image that again, he has contours too with his folded arms. I've even used it for bullet points. And so this would be an interactive quiz that my audience takes and based on their feedback, I can create triggers. And so if they say, I think the answer here is Germany, you can say, nope, incorrect, try again. Well, maybe America, do they consume a lot of chocolate per capita? Nope. And then, okay, fine, how about Switzerland? And yep, so we have this entrance effect where what you don't see is a box to the side here that's the same color as this background color. And then it just appears from behind these images. And this was a lot easier because I didn't have to create a unique shape and do the contours of the shape. It's just the box. And so I just created a taupe colored box and this blue colored box and it just comes from behind it. So again, have fun with this. Let me know in the comments if you think this is useful and how you would apply this. As always, I love creating this content for you and showing you interesting things you can do in your classes. And from you, I'd really appreciate it. If you like this video, subscribe for more content. It really helps me out. So let's help each other out. And until next week. Happy Disney morning.